Welcome to Keeneland. My name is Chef Ed and I've been here for 20 years. And I've made many pans of bread pudding and that's what I'm going to show you how to make today at home. We make about 2,000 pieces of bread pudding a week and we're going to show you how to make about six. You got to start with a nice French bread and it can be stale. These are Sister Schubert rolls and that's what we use at Keeneland. We don't use hot dog buns, we use Sister Schubert rolls. And you break it up, you can break it up like this, you can dice it up with a knife. But anyway, your, your end result is our, our cubes about that size. Put your bread in a bowl. This is liquid eggs. It's easy eggs in a store. You can use real eggs. You just have to get the same amount of eggs, whip them up, and it basically comes out to that. You pour that all over the bread. You have sugar. Pour the sugar. And we use lots of sugar here. Can't make this too sweet. Get all your sugar in the bowl. Golden raisins, and it's very important that you use golden raisins as opposed to dark raisins because the golden raisins won't burn when, you have, when you're cooking your product. Vanilla, and that can be imitation vanilla or regular vanilla. Regular vanilla is pretty expensive. And just regular 2% uh, milk. So you cover up all the bread like that and then you keep pressing it down. And that is the important thing, that all this liquid absorbs into the bread. And you can even leave this in your refrigerator overnight, and that will really make sure that it breaks down nice, because you want this to be soft. If it's just sitting here like that, it's gonna cook like that. Keep pushing it down and pushing it down. And leave it out on your counter for about an hour, just keep going back and forth and doing it to it, or put it in the refrigerator, like I said. Get yourself a pan. This can be a Pyrex baking dish. This is what we have here at Keeneland. And you just pour it all right in there. And again, if you felt like it's too, too hard, just keep pressing it. So you have it about ready to go in the oven. We've got just a little bit of cinnamon. And we put a little cinnamon on top. Now you put this in the oven at 250 and you cook it for two hours. It's a very long cooking process. If you put it too high, it's going to burn. So the trick is low heat, long cook time. So it goes in the oven, and voila. That's what we have when we're all done. Kentucky bread pudding. And you just you know, basically cut down the middle like that. We serve a pretty healthy, generous piece here at Keeneland. There we go. And then we have a Maker's Mark uh, bread pudding sauce. And we make that with confectionery sugar, butter, and Maker's Mark. And it's just equal parts sugar and butter. And then you put Maker's Mark, Buffalo Trace, Woodford Reserve, all our sponsors. We love their bourbon. And just put whatever your choice is. Get it all together. It'll look just like this. You ladle it over like that. You can't have too much bourbon sauce. And then just a little bit of, like Emma would say, bam. Put a strawberry on that. Get yourself another shot of Makers and Kentucky bread pudding, the Keeneland way.